how much money you could save with Senior Life. We could help you get cash back from your current overpriced policy. Call now to lock in your coverage and low monthly rate. For your free quote, call now. That stage is where dreams come true. Here we go. Going for the gold, y'all. AGT goes live. Three, two. Tonight on NBC and Peacock. you heard the rest, you can hear the best. Who can be with the S and have this on your chest? Snoop joins The Voice Monday, September 23rd on NBC and Peacock. All right, well, Disney announced several new projects and honored several big stars, including composer John Williams, actor Harrison Ford, and actress Miley Cyrus. I love her, by the way. Dana Devon has the details on all of that in today's entertainment report. It was a big weekend in Anaheim for Disney fans. The annual D23 event was held at the Anaheim Convention Center. It's basically San Diego Comic-Con, but just for Disney Studios. Fans got exclusive looks at several new projects, like an upcoming Frozen sequel, a new Incredibles movie, and an Inside Out 2 spin-off series, and even new rides coming to the Disneyland Resort. But one new movie has Disney fans shook. Yep, a new Toy Story movie is in the works. This time, Bonnie's toys, formerly Andy's, go up against technology. That wasn't the only excitement happening this weekend. Disney capped off the exciting weekend by honoring 14 new Disney legends that have left their mark on the company's legacy. The honorees included several Parks employees, as well as Disney stars Angela Bassett, James Cameron, Jamie Lee Curtis, Harrison Ford, and of course, John Williams. Also, Miley Cyrus gave an emotional speech. It is all because of you, everyone in this room, outside of this room. It's all about the fans. In my heart, I was Hannah Montana, and I was so proud to be. This award is dedicated to Hannah and all of her amazing, loyal fans, and to everyone who has made my dream a reality. Miley was greeted by Mickey and also cemented her handprints in stone. Also inside D23, it was a wonderful display of Polynesian dancing and singing presented by Moana stars Uli'i Cravalho and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It was all to promote the new Moana 2 movie, which we have a new trailer for now. Take a look. Moana! You were gone forever. It was three days. Where are we going? Before Maui stole Tefiti's heart, our ancestors wanted to connect our island to all the people of the entire ocean. <gasps> it's my job <laughs> as a wayfinder to finish what they started. You wanna show our people just how far we'll go. Ali'i Cravalho and Dwayne Johnson return to Moana and Maui in the new movie Moana 2. It hits theaters November 27th. That's your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Dana Devon. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with my Toy Stories. This is a lot I know, of we them. had to do a lot of research yeah. behind the scenes. Yes, uh, yeah. Toy Story 1, obviously, classic. Classic. Yep. Introducing mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Toy Story 2. Right. Andy grows up a little bit, but you know, still with the toys mm -hmm. and meeting new characters mm -hmm. like right. Jesse and her horse. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. number two was my favorite mm -hmm. because yep, of yep. Jesse, yeah. Yep. Toy Story 3, our good friend Andy goes to college. Mm -hmm. wow. Yes, you're doing So good. long partner. Okay. Yeah. Now Toy Story 4, this I've, is when... He gets, the toys go to Bonnie. To Bonnie. Yeah, and but I how think... how do they get to Bonnie? Andy's mom's cleaning the room? I think so because Bonnie is Andy's little sister. I don't remember. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And she wasn't like a random girl who like toys. No. <laughs> well, actually, that's a really good question. I don't because think Andy I'm, had any sisters. Yes, Andy Disney has. Sister? Yeah. Yes, Andy and had a little sister. sister. But I don't think it's Bonnie though. No, Bonnie, Bonnie is, is the a daycare. Girl. Wait, what? Yeah, because the Toy Story, the toys from Toy yeah. Story went to daycare, and then that's how they met Sporky. 
Ew. Do you remember? Oh, Do you know it, the character Sporky? No. Is that, the, is that a pig? It's a spoon. Oh. It's a spoon that they turned oh. into uh, an imaginary, or not imaginary, like a friend, like oh. a little toy. We well, yeah. need to brush up on our Toy Story. I remember Sporky. In my head, it's just Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2. For, for Well, just That's one. I'm just trying to remember Toy Story 4, but I think Toy Story 4 is when Andy, no, wait. Okay, well, five. Five is Andy's kids now. What? Wait, what? I thought five was like, oh, and then they grow up with like iPads and technology. Yeah. Okay. Versus yeah, because toys. the the promotional picture, yeah. it's older Andy. Okay. I saw him. I was like, <gasps> no way. Yeah. What does he look like? Is he tall? He does looks, he have? He looks like an adult. Adult. He looks like an adult. <gasps> yeah, does he have a beard? No, I don't think so. Cause wow. I don't know, that's crazy. I can't wow. picture Andy as an adult. Yeah, it was Andy as an adult. Wow. Yeah. And I'm kind of intrigued because in all the other movies, mm -hmm. Andy didn't really speak that much. Oh, yeah, no, he didn't. It yeah. was rare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to know if he's Aww. more involved in this it's movie. More the toys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Toy Story 6, Andy has kids. Oh. Wow. Wait, what do you mean six? Oh, you like, mean I'm just saying in the, in the future, Toy Story 6. You mean grandkids? Grandkids. No, Andy's going to have kids. But that's in the five. five. No, wait, I thought Andy's just grown. No, 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 he With has kids. kids. Oh. I just said that. <laughs> well, okay. Uh -huh. And then Toy Story 6 is yeah, when they get time. older. They're going to give you some Maybe. time to, to gather your... Okay, thanks. All right, cool. Good, All right. Yeah. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jeremiah Marshall. I do apologize about that. <laughs> it's okay. Our little rant of Toy Story. Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm meteorologist Brandon Medina. And I'm your lifestyle host, Danielle Bonda. Guys, it's National Science Day. Woo! Just Meteorologists for you. love science. I love science. Do you like, oh, you like science? No. It's history. Like, no. Thank you. It's he says it every day. I, but I just was wondering if he liked science in addition. I, I appreciate it, but science, Jeremiah. No. We know what cumulo, cumulonimbus clouds are because of Brianna, though. And yes. how much they weigh. And how much they weigh, yeah. Roughly. Cool. Mm -hmm. What science do you have for us today? Yeah. Well, today's going to be hot. I don't think there's any <laughs> science for that because it's mm. always hot nice. in the Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. it is. Oh, yeah. So today's going to be very similar to yesterday. We're going to have those hot temperatures sticking around. I'm talking about temperatures in the upper 90s to 